Because there are a great number of IFC classes in relation to Revit categories, you may find you are exporting multiple IFC class entities from the same Revit category, such as multiple categories from generic models, specialty equipment, or plumbing fixtures. Therefore, it's sensible to add the parameters at the family level rather than add them as project parameters in Revit. If I take this chair family and I select edit family and I go to family types to view the parameters, I have added at the family level a number of attribute override parameters and also particular parameters representing properties for the particular type of IFC class. For example, here I have built in at the type level the properties that can be found under the PSET furniture type common for IFC furniture. It's preferable to add the parameters at the family level because otherwise your project model would be inundated with parameters that may not necessarily relate to the element or class that you wish to export as. Additionally, there are types such as the IFC furniture type which have additional attributes such as assembly place which I can also add at the family level. Note that the IFC assembly place is a custom parameter I have created myself because it does not exist in the shared parameter file provided as part of the IFC exporter plugin. I will complete this value with the enumeration available for factory. Select OK. Load into project and close. I'll overwrite existing version and parameter values. And if I go to edit type, I can see the attribute properties overwritten here. Now when I export the model and I select the entity within the IFC viewer, I can see that the furniture type attributes have been updated with the values specified at the type level. The predefined type for the occurrence has also been filled in, as has the object type. The individual name I will leave for now, but that could be added as the IFC name attribute at the instance level. Note that under the IFC furniture type tree, I have a property sets subtree with the PSET furniture type common and the properties I specified within the type have been updated and applied to the type level or IFC furniture type and also the occurrence level of the IFC furniture element. If I were to specify in my family that a particular parameter should be instance based, so let's say that each of these chairs may have a separate color, so it's no longer in the Revit type as a property, but is now an instance parameter. When these get exported to IFC and I select on this chair, note that the main color parameter or property is now not visible under the type PSET furniture type common, but it is visible and available at the occurrence level. And this is allowed within the IFC schema, so you should set up your families in, within Revit to align to your documentation requirements 
and then ensure that the attributes or properties are exported correctly. So that is how to set up your families to ensure the attributes and properties are exported correctly to IFC and allows you to specify whether the properties are at the instance or type level within Revit or occurrence and object type level within IFC.